Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, I have some good news that I really wanted to relate to you. Pete has told me that he saw a newspaper article that indicates that the Italian government is looking at shortening the quarantine from two weeks to 10 days, which may not sound like a big deal to us because Americans really can't go traveling there right now anyway. However, it shows movement. It shows looking beyond this COVID nightmare. And hopefully that is like the first step to opening things up enough to where we can come over in whatever way, safely, happily, um, you know, with COVID testing or whatever they want to put in to make them feel safe and make us feel like we're not bringing something horrible over to them. So that's really good news. More information on that is that the Italian tourist industry has been hit really hard with this COVID thing, and they do need to look at somehow mitigating that. It's been a really rough year because the big cities, especially like Venice with the cruise ships, um, Rome and Florence also with the cruise ships and with all the Americans coming over, they were hit really hard. Now in Southern Italy, we weren't hit that hard because most of the tourists that we have come from Italy itself or Europe or whatever. There's not a lot of Americans coming over at this point, although it's changing because people are looking at our channel and going, oh my gosh, we didn't even know Calabria existed and we're coming. So that's really good news. That's gonna help a lot. So these two things are things to keep in mind. We, I hope, hope, hope that things are gonna open up again safely and we're gonna be on our way. Now, I wanted to give you my tips for really enjoying Italy. Whether you're coming over for property or coming over to just experience Italy, I wanna give you some tips on how to really enjoy Italy for whatever reason that you're coming over. Now, Italy is very different than many, many other countries. And I know a lot of people who will have a spreadsheet and they'll be like, chick, 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 chick. we gotta see this, 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 this. And they consider their trip wasted if they don't. Italy is not a place that you wanna do that with. Half the fun of Italy is the unexpected and wonderful things that occur. You get an invitation to a meal that somebody spends all day making and it's just a once in a lifetime experience. You, you go to church and you hear them singing in the afternoon and, and, and it's just something that you just wanna treasure forever. Like these little moments that happen in Italy, they're, they're magic and you can't really plan them. You just have to be there when they occur. But if you're rushing from one monument to the next, you're gonna miss them. So that is my big tip on that is just take your time. Piano, piano. Italy is a piano, piano country, meaning gently, gently, take your time. And I think the Italians really understand the magic of being in the moment and, and seeing what surprises are around the next corner that you might miss if you're in too much of a rush. I hope this helps you. Pete and I are heading over to Calabria in November. We are able to get over there, so we're so excited about that. We know that you guys want some information on properties and we are gonna be boots on the ground, taking video, responding to questions. We'll be right there with Antonello, the architect, and with Yvonne and the other agents that we have, Antonio at A&M and that sort of thing. And we're gonna just put everything together and really hit the ground running with that. So we're so excited. Please keep sending us your questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, comment and everything else. It's, it's a wonderful group we have here. I just totally love you guys and I will see you soon. Ciao for now.